Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 46 of my RPG Maker series. Last time, well, the last two times, I've been working on building skills. Uh, to keep things from getting stale, I'm going to go back to world building, and then we'll come back to skills a little later. So for now, let's return to the desert town and that zone. The last we left off, I finished the inn. I decided to move the statue inside this fenced-in area, and I was going to work on this building here, right? So what am I going to call it? Government center is this big square rectangle, whatever. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, it might just be superfluous. I might just cut it down a little, make it smaller so I can add more residents. I'm not sure, but I need a name for it. So let's do new and name it Wharf Building, I guess. That's W-H-A-R-F Building. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer, I think. I need more height to it. But uh, let's see what it looks like first before I go that direction. Before I start adding... What's the floor going to look like? That's the question. Um, should I keep it the way it's been looking, or should I try something new? What if I do this? I just don't like the color. In ugh, I just do not like it. No, no. I, I'm okay with the gray here, but I'm definitely not okay with the orange. Um, seeing as how it's a Government building, though. Maybe I should do wood. This? Well, I wanted to save this for a different location. A different town, a different area. Um, I'll just stick with what I've been doing, I guess. For the time being. Uh, Let's see. It's more narrow. No, 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 no. If I recall, it's got... Yeah, it's this area over here, and then this area down here. So I need... Hmm. I need more room over here, this way. So I guess I will be... Okay, alright. Don't get, don't get too far ahead of myself. If I can do it with what I've got, then that's fine. Like this. I think that's okay. If I add some height to it... It might be fine. Really what I need is just to make this longer. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I will make it slightly longer. That's good. I think. That's fine. Uh. Maybe if I... Hmm. No, I think that's fine. I can shift everything over one. Let's do that, actually. Shift, offset this. I, th I forget if it goes negative. I think it's negative. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll let me add one more row. There we go. Good. All right. So far, so good. I think that's how I'm going to keep it. So I just need to figure out what I'm going to do for ceiling and floor and all that jazz. Hmm, is this okay? Um, alright, so that's pretty much what I'm looking for. What about... I need some desks or something. Um, if people come in through this direction, there should be... There should be a security checkpoint here, and if people come in this way... There should be a security checkpoint there. I don't know if I'm going to use these desks specifically, but this is where I want the player to get caught by security if uh, they come in. Um, I'll put in I'll put in an actor. Um, not quite sure who. Probably just troops in armor, like I've been doing. Uh, yeah. These base guys here. And then one over here. 
Actually, I could probably just copy paste. I don't even need. I don't even need to do this. Actually, hold on a second, because I can mix it up. I'm not locked in. But the townsfolk are less inclined to be rude to the heroes. Okay. So I've got two guys at the security checkpoints, and I can make an event where when the player walks over it, the game... Well, I don't even need that. So I will need two separate pages. One for player without the disguise. Okay. All right. One for without disguise, one for with the disguise. Uh, why would they be turned away without the disguise? Why would they be let through... With the disguise. I shouldn't be afraid to just throw them into a fight if they wander up to a soldier and start talking to him. Especially if I have a cutscene dedicated to warning the player, Hey, if you walk around without going to Cordobin first, you're going to get in trouble. Alright, yeah, I think that'll work. Hey, you're the... Nope. Nope. I spelled it wrong. You are, not your. Um, which means I need to... This barely fits on the page. Ooh, um, I'm going to have to rewrite that. Hey, I'm also going to need to fix that thing. Hey, you're... Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to fix it. I'm going to have to rewrite this sentence. All right, I, yeah, that's better. I just cut it into two separate sentences. The ones we're supposed to apprehend, what luck? Uh, I Actually, I think I want him to insult your the player, intelligence, if you wander up to him. Uh, hey, you're those terrorists, the ones we're supposed to apprehend. Good thing for me, you're so dumb. Uh, something like that. I don't know. I do want him to insult you, though, if you're dumb enough to walk up to him and be like, oh, hey, can we pass? All right. Well, barring changing that to be more insulting, I think that's fine. Um... No, 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 no. I need to initiate a battle. Uh, battle processing. There we are. And then some troops. Where did you go? I guess not. All right. Well, let's take a small detour. Uh, can escape, can lose. Sure. Uh, let's take a small detour. Desert scorpion. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I called them like sand. Sand trooper. There we go. All right. Sand Trooper, add, I'll just have two Sand Troopers, and, uh, hmm, yeah, I'll just have two Sand Troopers. You should be able to beat them and escape. That's the idea. You're so, I mean, you're, you're the heroes. You should be able to beat them and run for it. I, if you somehow lose this fight, then you get thrown in the jail. That's just... That's just what happens. Uh, auto name Sand Trooper Two. Actually, I'll have this be. I'll have this be uh, security. No, 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 no. I'll have this be stealth fail because I can use the same two troops for anywhere in the anywhere in the town where you fail to properly sneak past troops. Okay. So, battle processing, edit, uh, all the way down here. Stealth fail, there we go. Can lose, all right. If you escape, you get moved back outside. Uh, shunted outside. Uh, change tile set? No, that just changes the map tile set. I need to move the player. Um, movement, transfer player changes the current location used only on the map screen yeah this is what i'm looking for and you get shunted back out here i'm actually gonna yeah right there uh direction down fade to black sure if you lose you get transferred to the jail and i'll figure out i'll figure out where to put you later actually uh, if I was going to make a guess, it would be over here in one of these eight squares, maybe ten squares. Um, I'll put, I'll put it right there. Furthest, well, no, because I've got to have the wall here. So right there, it's fine. Okay. 
Sure. I haven't bailed out the jail yet. If you win, I think he'll have a text message that's like, uh, sound the alarm or something. I'll, I'll just I'll just put that in for now. Sound the alarm is good enough. Uh, let's exclamation point that. And then the terrorists are here, I guess, would work. Yeah. So even if they win, they can't get past the guy. Sometimes players are super dense. I mean, they'd have to get hit over the head before they realize, oh, maybe we, uh, maybe we uh, can't get through here yet. Uh, I'm going to play sound effect and then an alarm. I'm not sure what alarm. I'm going to go looking through the list here, but... Siren? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, I found it. I think um, three of those will be fine. So, play Siren. Just a little bit of a wait. Just a small bit of time between each Siren sound. All right, so can I... Yes, and then just copy and paste and paste. We go. So it should go bop, wait, bop, wait, bop, wait, and then we can do, you know, let's do Gilgamesh. Let's do, uh, worried Gilgamesh. This one? Sure, just, just for the heck of it. Yeah, all right, that'll work. We should leave now and then, um, move them outside. Yeah, uh, force the player to leave. Just like I do if they escape. That's fine. Uh, so I need... I want a sound effect having them leave. I also think the screen should fade out. Well, no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. We'll transfer the player and then have it. Let's see here. Uh, retained. Okay, direction down. And sound effect... Where was it? While I was looking for that siren, uh, where were you? Run. Here we are. I think that'll work. There we go. Okay. Apply. Good. Excellent. All right. So what happens if they have the disguise? I think it wouldn't be too much trouble to set up a separate actor for each of the four characters in their disguise. This could be the condition I'm looking Yeah, all right, I'll do that. Gilgamesh, let's set up... Hold on. Uh, apply, okay, get rid of that. Come back up here. Actors, I can have... 11 be... Uh, disguised Gilgamesh. Oh, well, gee. Now that I think about it... The problem is he's got to be the same level Gilgamesh is. It, it would be simple enough to set up an, a variable where disguised Gilgamesh is the same level as Gilgamesh, and the player can switch back and forth, and really the only difference is the appearance. I think it would also be easier than doing that to just set up a variable where when they're in a conversation... Yeah, discard. When they're in a conversation to just search variable for the disguised uh, characters. Yeah, it would, probably be, it would probably be faster and easier to just set up a variable for that. But uh, assuming I do that, let's assume I do that, then we can have text message, something like that. Oh, hey folks, how can I help you? Um, then we have a disguised version. Say, we need to get through to the docks. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll just have uh, Elizabeth say, we need to get through the docks. And then he'll be like, uh, sure, go right ahead. Hmm, it, it's a little too easy. But it's definitely going to be as easy as coming up to the guy, talking to him, and then just being let go. Um, and then I have this remove, or, well, actually, I'll have this block disappear, which means I should probably make it an event instead of a spot. Yeah, 
And then I'll set up this guy down here to do the same thing. Um, let me see if I can find tile for it. Ooh, ah, that, uh, that particular table is in tile set A, isn't it? Oh, brother. Oh, I know what I can do. Never mind. Never mind. I know what I can do. Instead of have two separate checkpoints like this, I can move... Let me see here. I can move this one and move this one to be here and here. And then just move this guy. Come here. Cut. Put him here. Move this guy. Put him here. And then like that. There we go. Okay. Now I don't need these tables. I can put an actual gate up and remove it when uh, the player talks to these guys. Also, yeah. Yeah, that's sim they're they're within viewing distance of each other. Yeah, I like this better. I like this setup better. And then I can have like chairs and tables and stuff up here. Citizens, uh people milling about trying to get through or just uh going about their business on the other side of the checkpoint. Okay, sure. That'll work. That'll work. Let me restructure a few things here and uh I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I wouldn't say I'm pleased with it, but there it is. Uh, we've got some... I tried to make it more like a waiting area, uh, government especially, with this long, complicated thing. Uh, somebody who's going to be there for quite a while, and then uh, a little filing cabinet. I don't know if I should have two or not. I, I want to put another one, but... Since I can't flip the sprite or put it on the sides, this wall's pretty much where it can go. Some sailors down here, some tacky flooring, and we're good. So, let's um, take a look at the variables. No, that's not the right area. Um, I always forget where I'm supposed to go for variables. Uh, let's see here. Um, can I set it up here? That's not right. How do I set up a variable? Control variables. I forget where I'm supposed to go for variables, so we'll just leave it for now. All right, we'll just leave it for now. I'll do it. I'll do it off stream, um, and then show you what I did when I get it. Otherwise, it'll be like yes, discard. Otherwise, it'll be like 10 minutes of me fumbling around in the dark until I finally get it working, and it would just be faster to figure it out and then show you how I did it. Uh, so what I want to do is put the copy, the same event, over here, paste, and then just change the dialogue from them coming in from the wharf. Uh, actually... In that case, I don't even need page one because you won't be out of a disguise coming in from the wharf, uh, from the docks. You'll be, it'll just be the disguised version going, okay, let us through, and him going, sure, no problem, lowering the gates, and then you walking out. So, yeah, I don't even need this. Uh, delete. There we go. Um... Oh, hey, folks, how can I help you? We need to get through. Yeah, this will change as well. Uh, edit. Um, we are ready to leave now. Thank you. Simple as that. There we go. Uh, I'll change this from sure, go right ahead to uh, sure. Let me just get the gate for you. And then uh, lower the gate. How did I do that last time? Uh, you know what? I don't remember, but what I do remember is that... Where is it? Uh, last Shrine has a control. 
Control switches, ancestor shrine, open, self switch on. All right, good. So I just have to assign a switch to the gates and then say switch on. Uh, switch, this will be, can I tie any other gates to this in the future? Um, maybe in a different city? Yeah, as long as I, hmm, every time they leave the building, the switches will reset. Yeah, yeah, I'll just say uh, security, security gates. There we go. Apply, good, okay. Uh, security gates. So we'll need a new event where security gates are off. Yeah. Uh, same, and we'll come down here to this one. Yeah, all right, I think that's right. I think that's right. I'll, I'll check the shrine again. That, it's simple enough. Um, security gate, good. And then a new event, and door, there we go. Beautiful, all right. Uh, apply, good. Let me check real quick what I did last time. Let's see here. Player switch. Okay, when the switch is on, the gate lowers. Okay. So, let me see here. Uh, I just reversed it, really. When the switch is on, the gates are up. And that's fine, because if I do security gates el elsewhere in the world, I want them all to be on. Um, they'll switch off when, yeah, switch... Control switches, security gates. We want that to be. We want that to be off. Simple. Both gates will lower, and I'll actually put that up here as well. Both gates will lower, allowing the player through. Um, when they leave the building, I'll just apply. There we go. When they leave the building, I'll just switch it back. Back on. There we go. Okay, simple. And that will allow me to use the same switch elsewhere in the world because I can guarantee the switch will be on, the gates will be up. Okay, cool. Good. Um, I think that's it for this building. No, 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 no. There was one other thing I wanted to put here. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I know. Okay. I remember. I remember. I'm going to put the civilian that they're cutting in front of, have him interject something when they uh, cut in line. All right. Well, while I'm changing the civilian, I, uh, I might as well throw the soldiers in. You know what? Part of me wants to go back and just put this face on all the soldiers. I was just going to leave it blank, but it does give the game a little more personality to have faces, and it is a generic face for all the soldiers. Yeah, it'll add more to the game than it will take away for me to just leave it out. So I'll go back and do that, but uh, that's what I did. I added a little face to the civilian because otherwise... If I left all of these text messages blank, you wouldn't know who's talking. This way, when you cut here, he responds, and you can see the picture of the soldier's face, and then the civilian responds, uh, upset that you're cutting in line, and you see his face. And then Elizabeth responds, and you see her face. So, that's um, better. That's a change for the better. Okay. Well, I think I'm done for the time being. I've got this all worked out, and now I've got a way through, and we also have the conversation here. We're not done with the conversation here. Actually, let me look at this real quick. I want to see where I left off. Yeah, she hasn't released the barrier yet. I need to set that up, but that'll be for another time. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next time. Stay safe.
and God bless you.